Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, in today's class, we'll discuss about the structure of atmosphere. It is uh, in your unit two, atmospheric composition and structure, and a variation with altitude, latitude, and season. So, before discussing about the structure of atmosphere, we should know where the what is actually atmosphere. Atmosphere is nothing, it's uh, the engulph of air, like which is held by the gravitational pull of the earth. It, it is present after 1000 kilometer, but uh, within the 32 kilometers, 99 percent of the uh, atmospheric gas are present in the earth. Now, our earth is 4.5 billion years old, we all know that. So, we should know from where the gases come in the earth and earlier what was it in the prehistoric time and now what the what is the present scenario so uh, the gas which was which is present in the which are present in the atmosphere now well, the, was the, it came from by the uh, process of a volcano it's called degassing so in the initial stage of the earth formations we know that earth is was the part of the solar planet uh, solar systems so uh, during the degassing process uh, it came from uh, like the gas like uh, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen dominated the earth atmospheres. Ni uh, carbon dioxide which is presently only like six, uh, 0 0.003 uh, percentage, earlier it was around 60 to 70 percentage. So, carbon dioxide is also uh, uh, global warming gases, greenhouse gases. So, we can like feel or we can know that that time how warm the earth was. So, actually we do not get directly like uh, heat from the sun, it is uh, the reflection of the like uh, sun rays which emit the heat in the earth surface. So, in today's class we will discuss about the structure of the atmosphere. So, as I have discussed about what is the atmosphere, the envelope of the air that completely surround the earth is known as atmosphere. The atmosphere extends to about 1000 kilometers from the surface of the earth, but 99 percent of the total mass of atmosphere is found within 32 kilometers. This is because atmosphere is held by the gravitational pull of the earth. So, you can see here compositions uh, like uh, oxygen uh, around 21 percent is like and argon 0.93, carbon, uh, carbon dioxide 0.04 neon 0 0.0018. So, majority of the uh, gas in uh, atmosphere is composed of nitrogens, which uh, consists of 78 persons. So, now we will discuss about the structure of the atmosphere. So, structure of the atmosphere here because of gravitational pull and heaviness of the air, some air heavy, some air, some air are light. Uh, so, uh, heavy air which settle down near the surface of the earth and the light air it goes up uh, like it mix up with the uh, like upper space or space uh, like atmosphere. You can see here it is because of gradational pull of the stratifi stratifications occurs. So, here our earth is actually a geoid in shapes. Uh, it is bulging in the equator and in the polar regions it is like deep, uh, it is like a social shape type. Uh, so, in the equatorial regions, because of direct sun rays, the extension of the which is the lowermost troposphere, the extension of troposphere is around 17 kilometers, but in the polar regions, we get the tangential sun rays is around uh, 9 kilometers. So, averagely, you can see that in troposphere, average extension of troposphere, which is the lowermost uh, structure of the atmosphere, it is uh, 12 kilometers and it ends in the tropopos. So, here we have uh, basically four structure, one is troposphere, stratospheres, mesospheres and thermospheres. So, we will discuss about uh, these uh, layers and significance, what important role they play in uh, like uh, sustaining the life in art. So, if you come here in a troposphere, the significance of a troposphere uh, is that uh, most of the weather phenomena. Uh, like thunderstorm, rain, formation of cloud. We know that uh, for formation of cloud, dust particles is also required. So, uh, big dust particles cannot uh, move off. So, uh, it uh, it stays in uh, like uh, tropospheric layers and uh, it acts as uh, 
hydroscopic nuclei and uh, it forms the cloud. So, all these weather phenomena, rainfalls, all occur in the uh, their, uh, troposphere layer. So, it is very important to sustain the life in uh, our ecosystems and biospheres. And here, if you see the temperature, temperatures decrease as we go up. It decreases at the rate of 6.5 kilometer degree Celsius per kilometer. It is also known as normal lapse rate. So, after that, after reaching the tropopause, uh, again the temperature increases. Okay, it after tropopause, it stirs the stratospheres. So, stratos stratosphere is uh, also very important phenomena, like important structure. Because in stratosphere, uh, it extends, stratosphere actually extends from uh, 12 to uh, 50 kilometers from the mean sea level. So, why stratosphere is important? Because uh, ozone layer, we know the significance of ozone layer. Uh, that ozone layers block the ultraviolet radiations. But now it is because of emission of CFC gas and uh, like all these gas are what? Uh, they are making the ozone hole. It, it is generally present in the polar regions. And even the people uh, living in the near to polar regions and temperate regions, they are suffering from skin disease because ozone holes uh, lead the ultraviolet radiation to uh, pass in uh, in the earth uh, like earth surface. And the people residing near face up problems, consequences of ozone hole. So uh, that ozone hole is very important in uh, that sorry that uh, that ozone layer is very important, which is present at around 32 kilometers. is very important in blocking. It act like a silt for UV radiations. So, here again uh, because of this uh, ozone uh, gas, the temperature increase. So, it uh, reached up to stratosphere, the temperature again started increasing here. From after stratosphere, there is a mesosphere and one of the important significance of uh, stratosphere is also that commercial flight. If you see that commercial flight, uh, they, the pilot uh, commercial flight uh, flew in the stratosphere layer, lower stratosphere layer. This is uh, one of the reason is that in troposphere there is a lot of uh, weather phenomena. So, uh, pilot prefer to uh, fly reach up to like uh, uh, troposphere, they fly uh, above the tropo tropopause and they uh, uh, for sm maintaining smooth flight, uh, they prefer to uh, fly in the stratosphere layers. And uh, our next layer is mesospheres. Why mesosphere is important? Uh, because in mesospheres, the uh, it is actually atmosphere also give the resistance. It also acts as the frictional. It give the frictional because in a solar system, uh, in a solar system, there is a lot of solar debris, uh, rocks. You can say these rocks always uh, because of uh, sometimes a gravitational pull or it uh, uh, divert from the orbit. It uh, moves towards the earth. So when uh, this uh, mesosphere contain the atmospheres. So, when it moves towards the earth, uh, then uh, this atmosphere, uh, the air present in the mesosphere acts as a frictional force and resists those uh, debris. So, because of this, you can see the shooting stirs uh, that, um, and it matures, it burns up before reaching the earth surface. So, that is why mesosphere is important here. So, it extends up to 80 kilometers from the mean sea level. After mesosphere, we can see that there is a thermosphere. Why thermosphere is important? Because in thermosphere, uh, thermosphere uh, after it extends up to 1000s, then it mixes with exospheres and outer space. The air present here is very thin. Uh, here in thermosphere, you can uh, the significance of thermosphere is uh, its ionizations. Uh, it's like uh, breakings of ions because of high temperature, it uh, becomes positive and negative, and the radio signal, radio communications which we are getting, it's because of ions present in these layers. So, in uh, D layer, it uh, dis dissociate during the night time. So, uh, before the development of technology, it was uh, difficult to get that signal during the night time. But now, with the development of technology, uh, like which is now uh, G layer, which presents all the time, like 24 hours, we can get the signals. And one of the important is Aurora. Aurora, you can see in the uh, northern hemisphere. Uh, in the northern hemisphere, you can see the magnetic lines. Uh, they give the colorful like uh, display in the sky. This aurora can be seen in like Scandinavian countries. You can see. So this aurora is important. One is also magnetospheres. So this magnetosphere, what happens? It uh, blocks the magnetic lines, which is very important uh, from the sun uh, because of uh, magnetic lines present in the surface, uh, like uh, inner core of the earth. 
So here you can see the importance I have given the distinct five layers of the atmosphere, troposphere, uh, extension of troposphere I have given all the whatever I have mentioned it is already here and stratosphere you can see here. After that mesosphere all the importance of mesosphere thermosphere I have uh, discussed here. So, and for reading a uh, student can refer for reading they can refer that uh, Berry and uh, D. S. Lal book is very important for these topics. So, I hope that uh, you can you follow my lectures and thank you.